With all the preparations taken care of, you can now create your enemy encounter. Select the object tool, then decide where you want to place your monster. Right click and select new, then choose your monster sprite. Next, uncheck the block hero when reaction box. Then change the monster's event property from hero action to enemy touch. To have the monster chase the player, create a new property under enemy touch. Select event system and choose the time option. Then leave the default values as is. Click on the time tab, then right click and select new. In the commands window, select move object. Make sure object ID is selection this object. Then press the one square to hero button. Finally, change the moving frequencies from instantaneous to our new option, quarter second, and be sure to uncheck the block hero when reaction box. Now in the enemy touch window, right click and select new. Select the battle tab and press start a battle. In the troop ID properties, select your custom made troop. For the battle map properties, select the custom battle map we added earlier. In the options properties, you have two boxes you can check. Allow escape exit so the party can flee from battle. Uncheck this if you don't want escape to be an option, like for a boss battle. Defeat causes game over makes it so that if the party wipes, it's an automatic game over. Uncheck this if you want to choose what happens when the party wins or loses. For this tutorial, we will leave allow escape, but uncheck defeat causes game over. Hit OK. You should now have two conditionals under start a battle labeled, if win and if lose. We will come back to these soon. In the states property, right click in the empty space and select new. Click update complete list and create a new state. Leave this state as is. Hit OK. Open the variables manager and create a new variable. We will call this variable has escaped. Hit OK. Now open the systems manager and select the common reactions tab. Either create a new common reaction or simply rename the first one. In the parameters property right click in the empty space and select new. Name your new parameter and leave the default value as anything. Hit OK. In the empty window below parameters right click and select new. Select the structure tab then under the variables property press change variables. In the selection property choose your new variable. Leave the operation property as equals. Change the value property number from 0 to 1. Hit OK. Open the data manager and select the skills tab. Highlight the escape skill. In the effects property, highlight the special action command and right click new. This will place our new command on top of the old one. Select the call common reaction option and press the select button. Choose the common reaction we just created and press OK. Now right click your monster sprite and select edit. Under the if win condition in the enemy touch tab, right click and select new. Then select the structure tab and press the condition button. While in the first tab, choose the custom variable you made. Set it to equal to and change the number to one. In the lower left hand part of the condition window, check the box that says add else when conditions do not apply. Now press OK. Under the if condition, right click and select new. Select the Move Object button, then in the Move Object window, press the Move 1 square to Opposite Hero button. This will give the player a chance to run away from the monster after fleeing the battle. Hit OK. Make another new command under the Move Object command we just made, and select the Structure tab. Press the Change Variables button, and change our custom variable to be equal to zero. Under the else condition, create a new command. Select the map tab and press the change state button. Choose state 2 and leave operation as replace. Hit OK. Under the if lose condition, create a new command and select the map tab. Press the game over button. Hit OK. You now have your first enemy encounter completed. Test it out to see if any adjustments are needed. While this may seem like a lot of work to set up just one enemy encounter, the good news is you don't need to repeat this process after the first time. Simply use the object tool to copy the object encounter and paste it on a new map. From there, simply edit the monster's graphic and edit the start a battle command to change which troops or battle map you need for the new encounter. Congratulations, you worked hard and can now reap the fruits of your labor. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel.
or leaving a comment down below. This has been Sid from Digital Container, and I hope to see you next time.